Good afternoon and welcome back to our weekly coaches show once again with head coach Charlie Killian. Welcome back. Well, it's good to be back. This is an exciting uh, episode from where we were last week and we were hoping to be here and we are. Absolutely. So one game left, the championship game tomorrow. Yep. Four o'clock at Bryce Jordan Center. Everybody's super excited. Um, we had a lot of really good things happen in this last week, like you said. Uh, one of those things was that the PSUAC announced their all-conference selections. So let's start off and talk a little bit about your players that received some accolades. Uh, start with Shirley Valentine, um, just an awesome player, awesome kid. She got the Sportsmanship Award. Yep, um, and she does everything that we ask of her. Uh, she's a motivator, she's self-motivated, she'll motivate others. Mm -hmm. um, the ability that she shows on the court, she gives 100% at all times. She listens to what we're asking her to do. Um, Shirley's just an amazing player and um, we really appreciate her. And there's times where she's not afraid to, you know, let me know what she thinks. And that's a lot what I appreciate about, appreciate about her. Yeah, and I'll say when I sit at the scores table, you know, I'm supposed to be unbiased, right? Well, every time I hear Shirley go, D up. Yep. I just want to chant with her. Yeah, exactly. So, and it's always her that starts it. Right. So uh, obviously well-deserved for her. Um, really happy that she was honored, you know, in that capacity. Um, the next award, Rookie of the Year. A very talented player, mm. obviously recognized across the conference as the top um, incoming player. Talk a little bit about Tajay Stevenson, her road to get here, and just the impact she's had. Well, you know, Tajay comes from uh, uh, out of high school. She's 23, I think mm -hmm. she just turned 23. And um, so the road that she took was a lot different than anybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, had a knee issue, mm -hmm. uh, was at Temple, mm -hmm. and th things you know didn't work out there. She left school, came here to Pottsville, um, with, lived with her grandmother, decided to come to school. She wanted to get her degree, and we found out about it, yeah. and we <laughs> approached her and talked to her about it, and we're uh, ecstatic that she decided to play, and, yeah. and she's reaping the benefits of, of her hard work and the talent that she has. Um, she's, you know, definitely has um, the, the effort and, you know, her abilities are just amazing um, and outspoken mm -hmm. and you can really appreciate that. Um, there's nothing better than you know where you kind of stand with people and it's, I struggle with somebody that's not as, you know, you don't know where you stand. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that I also appreciate um, about mm -hmm. Tajay. Yeah. Um, but she, it's when she puts her mind to something it's yeah. amazing what she does out there in the court yeah it's really neat to see her blossom just in one year yep. we got hopefully three more years with her and like you said being vocal hopefully seeing her develop into a true leader on the court as these seasons progress in her career um, very happy that her path crossed ours and we're on the same journey together uh, she's done great for our program so our next award just I, I, I'm kind of speechless because I'm just so happy yeah. for her for this award. Uh, player of the Year of the PSUAC, Alyssa Gerber. We've talked about her before, mm -hmm. um, but just kind of give me a brief overview. I know we could talk for so long yeah, about her, we could. but give me a brief overview of you know what what this means for her and, and for the program too. Well, just the sacrifice. You know, you think about it. How for her to come back for another year because mm -hmm. it was a sacrifice. She could have been out in the working class. She could have been you know having her job and her future of her life already started, but she chose not to. She saw something that there was a, it was obtainable. But it wasn't guaranteed, and she came back. And uh, we were really happy that she came back. <laughs> And I'm sure all the, her teammates are happy that yeah. she came back. Um, and it, what's really neat is, you know, the, the personal things that she has received, mm -hmm. we also receive with her. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and she's going for, speaking on that, she's going for her 1,000 rebounds tomorrow. She only needs eight. Um, so, That's amazing. Yes, you yes. Know, think about 1,000 points and 1,000 rebounds. I know. It, it's far and few between that ever even get close to that, right. let alone actually get it. So, um, again, just reaping the benefits, which is awesome for her. Uh, our last award uh, goes to someone yeah. who, who it, it's greatly <laughs> deserved. It's been a long time coming. I know, uh, Coach of the Year, congratulations. Um, sitting here from an administrator standpoint, um, very proud, very happy for you because I know all of you have gone through all these years, um, especially this year. So a big congratulations to you. Uh, obviously <laughs> emotional, which you should be because this is, this is something that you've put a lot of yourself into this year. Um, I think that this year has been very emotional. It's been 
something that has been a work in progress every day. And to see it come full circle to this final, to the point where you're getting recognized, your players are getting recognized, and you have a chance for a PSUAC championship. I think that your emotions say yeah. it all, <laughs> but if there's anything else you want to add? Yeah, I mean, you just think about all the people that were that here. Yeah. You think about Kelly, yourself. Mm -hmm. I think about, you know, I co Coach Klein, my high school coach. I think about Rich Mock, who coached me when I was in the military. I think of Burt Word at Blue Mountain, who I, I helped um, in the mm -hmm. program with. I think of Ruth Weidman. Yeah. Um, you know, just the people that affected you Absolutely. in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And um, those are the, that's what you reflect on. Yeah, yeah. If I get this out, <laughs> I can do this. Julius Irving said that, um, I was listening to an interview of his, and he talked about how you don't look at your rewards for yourself, but you think about down the road how it, you know, your, your family and your friends kind of look at them. And I thought that was neat because I thought about Lindsay's and, and Patrick's awards, my son, mm -hmm. and that, right, I reflected on those. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a personal thing that, um, you know, you, you, you reflect that more down the road away. Absolutely, and I think it'll be something that, for sure, your kids and your grandkids will certainly look back on uh, in years to come. Yeah, I'm sure all the girls would be a, a surprised that I got a little emotional here. I'm so. sure, I'm <laughs> sure. We'll show, we'll show your soft side every once in a while, right? Yeah. Um, but congratulations, truly, truly well-deserved. Um, and, and just to be respected amongst your, your other colleagues and coaches across the conference, I think, says a lot about, you know, you as a coach and as a person. So, um, Moving on to our last question, Penn State Beaver. Uh, so we beat them the first time, close game. Overtime. Overtime, yes. So what's changed since then, and how are you approaching the game? Well, I think the only thing that's changed is the month. Uh, we were sitting there talking about how long the season mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. um, Beaver's well coached. Um, there's this team that got better and better as the yeah. year went on. We got better and better, and, mm -hmm. and now we're both gonna collide up there. Yeah. Uh, there's not nothing to be hidden. Um, um, we're we're gonna you know put two teams on the court and go head to head and and you know I looked at their the Lehigh Valley game and yeah. up and down the court and that's yeah. how our game's gonna be the same mm -hmm. way up and down the court um, but um, you know you look at the matchups and it, everything kind of just matches up together with each other yeah. so it's a um, one of the games that you're looking forward to yeah. and we're excited for uh, showing up there and. We know Beaver's gonna bring their A game, so we mm -hmm. need to bring our A game. Absolutely, and if they come out like they did against the last game against yep. Greater Allegheny, they certainly will. So um, good luck to you. We're gonna finish out with our Fast, fast five. five. And um, one thing to note too is that after um, the game today, we did receive a bid for USCAA championships. Yep, that, was, um, that was fun too the other night. That was fun. Yeah, so um, for everybody watching, we will be back next week before you head to Virginia for USCAA championships to recap that. So we, there will be, still be more to come. Basketball is not over after Jeez. Saturday. Um, but let's Just clear with the agents, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> we'll make sure everything's in a yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, you ready for the Fast Five? I'm ready. All right. Dunkin' or Starbucks? Starbucks. I knew that one was coming. Uh, McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. Eagles or Steelers? Eagles. Okay. This is a good one. March Madness or NBA Finals? March Madness. Okay. And then the last one is for Jackson. He insisted my son asked that. Is it Spider-Man or uh, Iron Man? Ah, uh, I'd probably Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Yeah, I'll go the Spider-Man. I'm an Iron Man, but I, he might agree with you. We'll have to ask him. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck tomorrow. And um, we look forward to seeing you back here next week. Thank you. We're excited.